please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. I'd be happy to provide you with a tutorial on using Xcode 3.2 for Ruby and Python development. Please note that Xcode 3.2 is quite an old version, and newer versions have been released since then. However, I'll do my best to provide you with the information you need for that version. Before you get started, make sure you have Xcode 3.2 installed on your Mac OS system. You'll also need to have Ruby and Python installed. Launch Xcode 3.2. Go to the file menu and select new project. In the new project dialog, you'll see a list of available project templates. Unfortunately, Xcode 3.2 doesn't come with built-in templates for Ruby and Python. However, you can create command line tools using the command line utility template and then configure the project for Ruby or Python manually. Choose command line utility and click choose. You can give your project a name and choose a directory to save it. Click Save. To configure your Xcode project for Ruby development. Open the project you created. In the Xcode project navigator on the left, right click your project name and select Get Info. In the Project Info window, go to the Build tab. Look for linking and add the following to the other linker flags field. This tells the linker to link your project with the Ruby library. In the header search paths section, add the path to the Ruby headers, which is usually located in slash system slash library slash framework slash Ruby dot framework slash headers. You can now write your Ruby code in the main source file of your project, typically a dot RB file. Build and run your project as you would with any other Xcode project. To configure your Xcode project for Python development, open the project you created. In the Xcode project navigator on the left, right click your project name and select Get Info. In the Project Info window, go to the Build tab. Look for linking and add the following to the other linker flags field. This tells the linker to link your project with the Python library. In the header search paths section, add the path to the Python headers, which is typically located in slash usr slash include slash python 2.7, for python 2.7, or slash usr slash include slash python 3.7, for python 3.7. You can now write your python code in the main source file of your project, typically a .py file. Build and run your project as you would with any other Xcode project. Please note that Xcode 3.2 is quite outdated, and you may encounter compatibility issues with modern Ruby and Python versions. It's highly recommended to use a more recent version of Xcode and follow updated guidelines for Ruby.